What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian. That's Benji chilling in the background. And today we have a practice for lower body strength. This isn't a super long practice, but it's all about quality of movement so that you can get strong slowly but surely in a really manageable way and be happy and strong and have that sustainability that you crave as you grow older each year. Let's get started. All right, let's begin lying down. So come on down to the ground. Take your time getting there. Trust that you chose the right practice, the right video. And let's land here in the moment in a little constructive rest pose. So you're gonna bring your feet wide, knees come together like so, and then you're gonna rest your head, your neck, your shoulders down, elbows bent, hands resting on your belly. We're not gonna be here long, but we're just gonna take a couple moments to land. What makes this different than just a lower body workout is the way we focus on our breath and the way we allow our breath to fuel the movement and the consideration or the awareness that we bring to the practice, the way we relate to our body. And truly it's about honesty, the willingness to look and see and notice how am I feeling today? Where am I at these days in my body? And then sometimes when we do that, some judgment can come up. So the last bit is just remembering to bring some love to it. Some grace if you need it. Start to gently deepen your breath, whatever that means to you. So it can be really, really slow and controlled breathing, or it can just be taking the first deep breath you have all day. Maybe it's in through the nose, out through the nose, or maybe it's in through the nose and a couple of exhales out through the mouth. And on your next breath cycle, take the biggest breath you've taken all day. And use your exhale to kind of wake up the body. So you're gonna bat the eyelashes open. You're gonna walk the feet together. So knees are still bent, walk the feet together. And then you're just gonna open and close the hands, rotate the wrists one way <laughs> and then the other. And then we're gonna send just the right foot all the way up towards the sky and we're gonna rotate that ankle one way and then the other. Then point your right toes. It's okay if this right knee doesn't uh, straighten. You can keep it as bent as, as you need. Point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Then stay flexed. You're gonna reach to interlace the fingertips behind the thigh or maybe behind the calf. Breathing deep for a hamstring stretch. This is where using a strap or a tie or a dish towel can also become really handy. Just getting a nice hamstring stretch, letting the blood flow opposite direction, letting that hip socket, or excuse me, that femur drop down into the hip socket. Breathe. And then check it out. Bring your hands to your belly, point your toes, and slowly, 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 slowly lower your right foot all the way down to extend it and see if you can kind of just feel what's going on in that right hip. Nice, and then draw that right knee up and we'll send the left foot up towards the sky. Take a second to rotate the ankle one way and then the other. Point and flex, point 
and flex. Support the low back with your abs point and flex. And when you're ready, find that hamstring stretch, one that works for you on this side. Continue to gently deepen your breath. And then hands can slide to the low belly. We're gonna point the toes and slow and steady, lower it down. Nice and slow. We're reminding, training the brain. Ah, yes, all connected. Notice what's happening in that left hip. Ooh, and then we'll slide the knees up. You're gonna lift the knees up to the chest. Give yourself a big old hug. You can rock a little side to side if that feels good. Maybe draw the knees in a circle one way and then the other. Continue to deepen your breath as you give yourself a little low back massage here. And we'll slide the hands to the backs of the thighs. You're gonna rock and roll up and down the length of your spine just a couple times. And after a few times, we'll rock all the way up to a cross-legged seat. Gentle twist to the left, lift your chest. Breathe in, exhale, gentle twist to the right, lift your chest. Breathe in, exhale, come back to center. We're gonna come forward now onto all fours. And you're going to actually widen your knees as wide as your mat and then send your hips back and your fingertips forward for extended child's pose, opening up through the hips. Think about, for, for today especially, think about really lengthening your tailbone down towards the soles of your feet to find that length in the low back. So always playing with different little nuances and different shapes to explore different sensations. And then carve a line with your nose, look forward. We're gonna come all the way up, keep the knees wide. You're gonna move the heart forward and then take it around and down through a little version of that extended child's pose. So we're stirring now, leading with the heart, stretching through the hips and then reverse it. Take the circle in the opposite direction Getting into those hip flexors as you come forward, getting into the outer hips as you come back. Lovely. Then we're gonna bring the knees all the way to center, tabletop position. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna just send the left leg out, sorry, left leg out, and then the right leg out to a plank. We're not here long, just getting our core turned on, getting, getting ready for our lunge work, breathe deep, extend the crown of the head forward. You're here for three, you're here for two, and on the one, send it up high, downward facing dog. I have a great view of another type of downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here, pedal it out, stretch through the backs of the legs, stretch through the feet, the ankles, the Achilles, the calves, the hamstrings. Think about lifting up from your hip creases and sending the majority of your weight into the lower half of the body. Press away from your yoga mat, take a deep breath in. On your exhale, stay here, but hug the belly in to lengthen the low back, just a little bit. It's hard work, I know. All right, slow and steady, we're gonna cross one foot in front of the other to walk all the way up to the top of the mat. So you're getting a little IT band stretch as you journey to the top, feet hip width apart, Allow the weight of your head to hang in the forward fold. Breathe in and breathe out. Bend your knees generously and slowly begin to roll up to stand. Head over heart, heart over pelvis, just take a second to loop the shoulders a little forward, up and back, a couple of sh shoulder circles. And then without looking down, we're gonna bring the palms together and walk the feet together, really together, so they're arch to arch. Feel this zipping up through the legs. Feel your 
quads turn on, your glutes turn on. And if you're like, oh, what's happening next? Just get this zip up tight through the legs first. We're not going anywhere right away. Just feeling that connection, turning on the muscles of the legs. Imagine trying to tear your yoga mat in half with your feet so much so that it's engaging the muscles all the way up through the midline. And around the hips. Good, now lift your sternum a little bit taller to your thumbs. Inhale in, exhale, keep the sternum reaching towards the thumbs as you send the hips back, Utkatasana, chair pose. Breathe deep here. Squeeze the legs. Now send the fingertips forward, sink back a little more. The, the reaching of your hands forward allows your sits bones to reach back. Think about getting your knees over your ankles instead of your knees over your toes. And use this reaching of the hands to really counter that. You got it. Good, then rise up to standing, palms come together at the heart. Lift the sternum to the thumbs. We go again. Reach the fingertips forward, squeeze the legs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as you send the hips back. And we rise. Now we're gonna repeat slow and controlled movement. Reaching forward. As you sink back, think about digging weight into your heels. As you come up, think about tearing your yoga mat in half. So super active legs is the too long didn't read version of that. Super active legs the whole time. From the soles of the feet all the way up to the outer hips, to the glutes. Now we're gonna do three more with your breath. Focus on the quality of your movement, your alignment, and that connection. Hug your abs in, just like we did in Downward Dog, to take that pressure out of your low back. On your last one, on your third one, hold. Send the fingertips back and press them down as if you were pressing them into some thick air here imaginary thick air. Inhale in, exhale, hummingbird. You're gonna lift the heels up, maybe. Maybe you skip this today. Keep lifting the sternum up and out. Maybe you sink a little bit lower. Breathe. With control, slowly, slowly lower the heels. Come all the way up, back to standing, hands at the heart. Great job. All right. From here, we're gonna inhale in, exhale, step the right foot back so you're in a split stance here. The feet are not super wide, just wider than the hips, and we're finding this lift through the front body and this grounding through the back body that I often talk about in Hatha Yoga practice. All right, from here, inhale in. You're not gonna move your feet. You're gonna keep them where you, you are and think about dropping your center, just your center down like an elevator. Bending your back knee, bending your front knee. If you need to widen your stance a little bit, you can. And then we come back up. Back heel lifts and stays lifted here. Sorry if I didn't say that before. Bending the knees, dropping the center down. I was too concerned with making sure you're thinking about dropping your center. So the knees are bending because your center is coming down. Nice and slow and with control. When we work this way, you actually don't have to do as many reps because we're really turning on all the muscles and working super efficiently. The next time you go down, bend your right knee. Try to think about bending at two 90 degree angles. It's okay if you're not there yet. I'm actually really sore today, so I'm like, oh gosh, I don't know if I can even demo this. But work towards your comfortable edge. Breathe, squeeze the inner thighs in the midline. You got this, maybe get a little bit lower. And then straighten and bend one last time. This time we're gonna send the heart forward, fingertips back, airplane arms, straighten the right leg. You're in a lunge here. Back knee can be lifted, excuse me, back heel can be lifted just a bit. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, step into that standing leg, bring everything back up to mountain pose. Palms together, Anjali Mudra at the heart, great work. Slide the left foot back. Lift the sternum to the thumbs, breathe in, 
breathe out. Go ahead and lift that left heel and let's take our center down as you bend your knees, slow and steady. And we lift and bend. Lift, slow bend. Digging into that right heel, pulling that right hip crease back. Slow and steady wins the race here. Next time your knees are bent, stay there. Get a little bit lower. Think about creating a 90 degree angle in both knees. Just do your best. Breathing deep. If you're starting to get a little warm, I'm right there with you. Shoulders are relaxed. Heart is lifted. And then slowly release. Awesome. Bend one more time. This time we'll send the fingertips all the way back. Crown of the head forward. You can straighten through that front leg. Draw the shoulder blades together. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Active in the legs. Active, active, active. Reach, reach, reach. Inhale, exhale, gather it all back in. Dig into your right heel. And we come to stand at the top of the mat. Palms together once again. Inhale in deeply. And exhale, completely release your hands gently to your sides. Now we're going to come to the center of the mat. So you'll turn to come long ways on the mat. We're going to step the feet out wide. To start, toes are going to point forward. And we can bring the palms back together. Each time we come to this mudra, it's, a, it, it's nice because we can create a little leverage here to relax the shoulders, but also to lift the heart up to the thumbs, the sternum up to the thumbs because this tends to collapse a lot when we're doing this type of physical work. All right, inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, we're gonna bend both knees, just like you're headed into a squat, but just like we did in chair pose, think about sending your weight back instead of knees over the toes. You wanna be able to see your toes here. Then we're gonna shift the weight to the left foot, straighten the right leg. You can widen your stance a little bit here if you need. Dig deep into that left heel. Then inhale to come up through center and exhale, take it to the right. Repeat. So for now, we're creating a little rainbow shape as we come through center. Activate from the soles of the feet. So imagine tearing your yoga mat in half here. Digging into the heels. Maybe you get a low, little lower. If you wanna take any sort of variation, with the hands here, that's different than Anjali Mudra, you can. And now we're gonna bend both knees, go back to that squat, wide-legged squat, lift the chest, lower down just a little bit, lower down just a little bit more. One more time, lower, and this time we're gonna bring the palms Fingertips in towards the tops of the thighs. You're gonna stay in this squat as you spiral your heart towards the left. Drop your right shoulder towards center. Pull your left shoulder back. Legs are still active. Feel those inner thighs. Come back through center. Keep the knees bent if you can and take it to the opposite side. Nice, then slowly come back up to center, bring the palms together. You're gonna stay knees bent if you can and walk the heels in so soles of the feet are turned out now. And then we're gonna slowly rise up, keep the knees bent to a goddess pose. If you need to take a little break and straighten the legs, you can. Otherwise, keep it low. So now we're here, externally rotated in the hips. We're pressing into all four corners of the feet. Find your breath, calm through the skin of the face. Sink a little lower and welcome that heat. Nice, and then if you want, take the fingertips, open them wide, open the arms to goal post arms. Think about aligning head over the heart, heart over the pelvis here, so hug your abs in to support your low back. Then maybe we lift the right heel, just the right heel, and lower it. Maybe we lift the left heel and lower it. And maybe last bit, we lift both heels and we sink down even lower for five. Breathe deep. Four, three, two, and one. Straighten the legs. Bring the fingertips down to come up. Palms come to the heart space and you can hop your feet together or you can 
inch the toes in and just take a second to squeeze the legs together here, mountain pose. Breathe. Release the fingertips down, walk to the front of your mat, inhale, reach towards the sky, exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale to soften and fold. Now in this fold, we're gonna walk the feet as wide as the yoga mat and actually maybe off the yoga mat, so it just depends. You're gonna come to a nice wide stance and then you're gonna find soft bend in the knees as you sway to the right. Fingertips come to the right side of your mat, stretching the left low back. And then we come through center. Take the hands to the left, feeling that length in the right low back. And now bend the knees a little bit more, clasp onto opposite elbow, and you're gonna just do like a little gorilla pose variation here. So you're gonna sway a little side to side, but you wanna get low, as low as you can go with your center. Swaying, breathing, keeping soft in the forehead and face. Little primal move here, finding softness, sweetness through the strength and the stability. Now stay grounded through all four corners of the feet. Protect those knees. Take one more breath wherever you are. And then you're gonna straighten the legs, release the arms. You're gonna walk the feet in just a little bit and then allow the weight of the head to hang once again. So you're in a, a forward fold with the feet hip width apart. Or around there. All right, then we're gonna step the right foot back. We're coming into a lunge. So step the right foot back, front knee over front ankle. Inhale in, exhale, draw your abs back to support the low back as you rise up, hands Anjali Mudra. You can be with the knee on the ground here too. So we have options. Breathe in deep, inhale in. Exhale, send the fingertips back, open the chest, lengthen through the crown of the head. Good, inhale in, come back to center, head over heart, heart over pelvis, palms together. And exhale, abs back, lengthen the crown of the head forward, fingertips reach. One more time, palms come together, we stack the spine, and then lean it forward and reach. Good, plant the palms. You're gonna step the back foot to meet, the left foot to meet the right, excuse me, and you're just gonna step the right foot up, nice and easy. Here we go. Front knee over front ankle. When you're ready, on an exhale, draw the abs in and lift up. Inhale in again here, and then exhale, send it forward, reach. Inhale, hands together, lift. Exhale, stay low, reach. Right hip crease is pulling back. And one more time, you got it. Reach. Palms come down. Right foot steps back to meet the left, breathe in. Lower the belly all the way, breathe out. Inhale, lift up cobra or upward facing dog, breathe in. And exhale, slow and steady, release, breathe out. From here, you're just gonna turn onto your back so you can just flip over from here, voila. And we're gonna hug the knees into the chest and bring the palms to the knees. And then send the palms out so you're finding your neutral spine where there's a little bit of space between your low back and the mat and the tailbone's reaching forward. And you're just gonna hang here for a breath or two. So soften through the feet. You can even part the lips a bit and start to cool it down. and slide your hands to the inner arches or the outer edges of the feet you choose for happy baby. You're gonna lift the soles of the feet up towards the sky. Continue to reach your tailbone down, just like we had in that neutral spine, and breathe. And you can find any soft, easy movement here that feels good. And 
then slowly release, soles of the feet come to the mat. If there's anything else you're craving, maybe a figure four stretch or a little straddle, shoulder stand, bridge pose. Go ahead and do it now. Listen to your body if you're ready to just send the legs out for relaxation. That's where we'll meet. Arms resting gently at our side. And close your eyes and just see how fast you can surrender to this moment. Drop everything. Just completely let the weight of the body relax into the earth. Don't wait till the very last minute of this practice. How about now? Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, relax the weight of your body completely and fully into the earth. Close your eyes. Let go. You can stay calm and relaxed here. Just slowly walk the heels together as close as they can come here in the supine position. Breathe. Good, and then you can keep the left leg heavy as you hug the right knee up into the chest. Good, and then slide the right knee over to the right for a little supine twist. Mm -hmm. If any sounds come out, I say let them. If any emotions come up, I say listen sweetly. Come back to center, extend the right leg out back. Long left knee hugs in, and same thing, taking it into a twist, finding some release. And then you can melt it back, extend both legs out long once again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly bring the palms together. You can bring the thumbs up to the forehead in between the brows. Give a little massage there. Start to wiggle the toes. Just wanna thank you so much for putting in the time, sharing your energy with me. I'm sending you lots of love. We'll close by taking a deep breath in. And exhaling, lots of love out. Hope to see you again soon. Namaste.